Once you're inside the Play Store or the App Store, just go ahead and type T-I-M-P-A-N-O. That will bring up the Timpano app, Timpano TPT SP4BT. I'm going to click on that. I already have it installed, so we're just going to open it. Let's just look through here real quick. That's where you're going to see. Open. We're going to activate demo mode. I don't have a processor in front of me right now. We're just going to go to demo mode. Real quick, uh, we'll go over the front page. Top left, you have the main gain slider. This is the main output of the DSP. Right underneath, you have CH1, 2, 3, and 4. These are channels 1 through 4. You can mute and unmute channels right here on your phone. This is good for turning off certain things you don't want to play. Maybe you want to make sure you didn't burn this uh, driver. You want to turn the other ones off and just play that. You can kind of do it right here on the fly. To the right of that, you have the voltmeter. This is extremely useful, and it's actually very um, accurate. It's very accurate. Um, it has minimum and maximum and current. So current will show your current voltage. Minimum will show as low as it's dropped, and maximum will show as high as it was since you've had it connected at this time. Some multimeters work the same way as this, and it's very good you have some voltmeters that will not catch the drops as fast as this will. So sometimes you're like, yeah, when I'm playing, I'm in the 12 volts, it's fine. But when you look here, you can see it actually dropped down to 11s, sometimes even 10s, depending on you know what you have going on. Anyways, back to the left side, max input. That will show you saturation on your input. To the right of that, you have the limiters for channel one, two, three, and four. This will flash the limiter right here on the screen so you can see when your limiter is kicking in, cutting distortion right in front of your eyes. To the right of that, you have the sequencer, S1, S2, S3. You can turn the, your amps on or off right there on the sequencer. Let's go down to the bottom. We'll start all the way to the right with tools. Just go ahead and tap on tools. You have the frequency tool. This is basically a tone generator, so you choose a frequency. You can just type it out right there. You can set the volume by pressing plus or minus, and then you can turn it on and off right there. It's good for tuning, it's good for testing, whatever you wanna do. This is a frequency sweep. So you have a starting frequency. You wanna start at uh, 50 hertz, and we wanna go all the way up to 20,000 hertz to kind of see, uh, you know, you can hear the frequencies in your system. Maybe you're missing something, you have the gain. And you also have a speed, how fast that sweep goes, and then you have an on and off button. When it is on, I believe it just loops, uh, it just keeps looping. Pink noise, same thing, you have gain, on and off. On the bottom left, we have the sequencer. Again, this is the, the main sequencer menu where you can turn them on and off, and you can actually see the little blue light lighting up here. That's pretty cool. And uh, you also have a time. Now this time will be this, the time between the amps turning on and off when you turn on the unit and turn off the unit. Let's go back. Here you have save and load. This is where you can save tuning profiles and you can load them again later. If you have a profile for a battle, you have one for you know quality, you can go ahead and save it and you choose a storage device whether you wanna store it on your phone or you wanna store it on the DSP. You put a name in there, battle, done save it'll save to your phone save successfully then you can go ahead and load battle there you go then you choose it do you want to load this configuration load i'm not going to load it because i believe it'll crash because i'm on demo mode it's nothing to load then you have a factory defaults button that will reset the whole processor so let's go back again copy channel this you can have multiple channels running the same exact tune if you have two channels for mid bass, you have, you know, let's say you have 16, 10, so you have eight on one amp, eight on the other amp, and you wanna just copy channel one to channel two. So source one, channel two, go ahead and press the copy button and you will copy that channel so you don't have to redo the whole thing again. The next one is the voltmeter. In the demo mode, is you can't see, but normally there'll be a line here and, and it moves down when the, when, the, when the voltage drops and it moves up when, it, when the voltage raises. And you have, again, the minimum and maximum and the current voltage. This is a very good tool to watch while you're playing to make sure that you're not losing voltage. Next, uh, we'll go from tools to audio settings. We're going to real quick run through this. Graphic EQ, everybody knows what that is. You can choose presets, vocal, hip-hop, rock, there's a whole bunch there. And then you have flat 
and then you can just drag these up or down to boost or cut frequencies you can fine adjust by choosing one of these and then you just pressing the plus or minus because here it's kind of crude it's it, it's it's kind of hard to get an exact number so you can use this as well to adjust it the parametric eq is to boost or cut one frequency so you can say okay my uh, 80 hertz is kind of lacking on my mid bass we're gonna we're gonna boost that this is negative okay we're gonna boost it all right and then you have the q factor which which makes it um, tighter or more broad across the frequency range okay so you're like okay I want it really tight on that 80 Hertz let's raise this up very good tuning tool next we have the crossover this is pretty much one of the most important tools you have in the whole DSP you can choose between the channels now you have a visual down at the bottom you can see channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 and channel 4 that's 1 2 Three and four so I suggest you start channel one with your lows your subwoofers if you don't have subwoofers you start there with your woofers or mid bass and then the next you have a you have to come in with your phenolic compression drivers titanium compression drivers tweeters okay so I recommend starting from low to high frequency so what you want to do basically we're on channel one channel one's my uh, pro audio subs we got some 15 SW 2000s here you can choose the filter, BT or LR, 12 through 36. So we're going to do BT36. The frequency, you just type it in. I want 50 to uh, 185, so on and so forth. Then you can go to channel 2. Channel 2 would be my mids. Channel 3, phenolic compression drivers. Channel 4, titanium compression drivers. If you have tweeters, you want obviously to go a little higher in this, maybe 6,000. But, you know, everybody's cars, everybody's tune is going to be different. I won't get into that. This is just how to use it. And then there's also presets. So driver one, two, three, tweeter one, and then custom. Routing. You have A and B inputs. This is where you can use uh, channel one and two for left and right. So you want channel one A, channel two B. That's going to give you left and right. A and B together is left and right together. It's a mono signal. If you have mono amplifiers, you just run A and B. The gain is pretty self-explanatory. You have the main level that you, you have on the main page as well. And then you have the gain for each component or each output. So you can stand behind your car and listen and oh, I wanna boost this a little bit, it's a little quiet. Oh, it's too much, I'm gonna turn it down. And you can also mute the channels right here on the side with these buttons. So all your gain controls right here in one place. The limiter, I'm not gonna get into the limiter too much. Just basically you can turn it on by hitting auto and you can adjust the threshold or you can just move it here. This will cut some distortion from whatever frequency is hitting at that time. So as you adjust this, the lower it down you go, the stronger the limiter will be and the light will flash and the light will also flash on the main page. So you can choose each channel and you can set the limiters. You wanna set so that the limiter is flashing right before your amp clips. You don't wanna clip your amps because it gives distortion to your speakers. The delay feature is good. You can use this kind of two different ways that I see. If you have an inside system in your car, you can uh, delay the driver side speakers. Let's say you, this is a left side, this is the other left side, and you can kind of measure and delay so that the sound hits your ears at the same time from the right as the left. Also, if you have a stunt wall or doors and you have your compression driver sticking out further than your speaker, you kind of want to measure where the voice coil is in relation to the one that's furthest out and kind of delay that one that's furthest out to the one in the back. I'll make a complete different video on the delay, but that's just basically in a nutshell how that works. And then the phase, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can put something 180 out. Some people like to do it on subwoofers. Some people like to do it on tweeters, but that's all that right there. So that about sums it up. Uh, again, you have crossover and gain, which are inside the audio settings. And you can actually change what what is on the front. You can customize the shortcuts. So you can you can add them there and you can choose which ones are on the front. So by default, it's gain crossover audio settings and tools. That's a quick run over of the new Timpano DSP. If you have one of these or you're thinking about buying one, you have any questions, post in the comments. I will definitely answer all comments and uh Stay tuned for some more videos. I do have one of these I installed in one of my personal vehicles, and I'm gonna be making a video showing how to use this and how it works in real time, showing the voltmeter, showing everything else, all right? So thank you so much, and please subscribe to the channel. 
for some more tech videos.